Welcome back to Weekend Smile from childhood memories to adulthood adventures. I'm grateful for every moment with you. Joining us via Zoom is Jason J. Quest Mills, United States Navy veteran, poet and author of Art of Brotherhood. And of course, it's important, especially during the holiday season. Jason, welcome to Weekend Smile. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You are more than welcome. I see you with a lovely coat behind you. Lean on me when you're not strong. What actually inspired you know you to choose the theme of brotherhood in your book, Art of Brotherhood? Well, this um, book was inspired by my late um, friend Kenyan Roy from Bo Savannah, um, St. Elizabeth. He and I shared a very special brotherhood um, He's from Jamaica, born and raised in Bo Savannah. I've lived in the States for over 20 years now. And whenever I visited Jamaica, he was always a person who extended the kind of brotherly love that um, I believe is worthy of being um, written in a book. Yeah. So I had to spend some time and um, capture this message because I believe it's so needed, especially in a season like this, in a time like this where brotherhood is, an, is a lost art. Yeah, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned, you know, capturing just uh, what brotherhood really is, you know, in terms of your actions, in terms of your words, just in terms of that support system. Can you share any personal experience or even moment that influenced the perspective on the importance of brotherhood? Yes, you know, as I examined this subject carefully, um, reflecting on Kenyan's life, I noticed two themes stood out and even also from the biblical narrative and that is the characteristics of loyalty and friendship and it's also emulated um, in the relationship between Jonathan and um, David in the Bible. Kenyan was always the kind of person who wherever he's at in Jamaica, whatever he's doing, he will drop it and come and support me and help me. I remember one instance where he had work and he i was in jamaica and i needed him to help me to go somewhere and he actually called his boss and said you know boss can't make it today you know we have to yeah. support me bridging j quest and he took the day off without pay wasn't expecting anything from me and carried me wherever i want to go and support me so this is this is the kind of thing that i believe we need in jamaica society and everywhere at large especially in a time at least with wars and rumors of war yeah yeah which is so right and sometimes you know jason when it is that you're on a goal or you're trying to achieve something you are only as good as your team and the people around you and sometimes the people who support you so uh, you know i myself know that it is important to have a strong as you would call it brotherhood but for me as well you know sisterhood you know <laughs> you know yeah you know that kind of vibe and, and that kind of energy around you but in what what ways do you believe that brotherhood contributes to just the overall well-being of the happiness of individuals? You know, because when you have a true, sincere brotherhood um, between each other, it, it negates all the negativity and all the bickering and complaining and competition that yeah. erodes in relationships. Yeah. And, and what I notice in the Bible, you know, interestingly enough, you know, the Bible often tells us what brotherhood is not more than telling us what brotherhood is. And that's something I learned when I was going through this subject. It's as if God is saying to us, look at, look at what is going on in society. Look at what is going on. Do we want that? Do we want the fighting, the bickering, the violence? Yeah. If we don't want that, God, I believe, is saying, then turn to brotherhood. Yeah. The genuine care, the loyalty, the support, and being somebody you can lean on like Kenyan, who I was. And interestingly enough, Kenyan's favorite song was lean on me when you're not strong and that's why i see that quote is on his picture right there okay okay i mean how do you possibly you know envision your book making a positive impact on others particularly you know fostering the sense of brotherhood do you drop any tips in there is it uh, was it from just personal experience and stories or i mean how do you how do you intend to foster that and hope for that positive impact with persons well, what I do is that I focus in on um, tangible anecdotes that um, I realized that Ken and I sh shared. Um, for instance, I spoke about the time when I visited Jamaica, my grandmother's roof was leaking and Kenyan dropped everything he was doing and transported me wherever I needed to go in Jamaica to get the materials to be able to get my grandmother's roof. That was something tangible he did. You know what I'm saying to you? And one of the things I love about Kenyan is that he would never look for anything in return. 
Yeah. And I remember on one occasion, the Spirit of God said to me that I should bless this brother because he has demonstrated to me the heart of what true brotherhood is. And I know what's interesting too from the biblical narrative is that Jesus Christ himself is portrayed as a big brother, adopting us into God's kingdom. So what Kenny and Roy did for me was showed me what Jesus Christ really is to me. Somebody I can always rely on and be there for me in spite of any circumstance. Yeah, which is awesome. And of course, you know, we're in the holiday season. Christmas is right around the corner. And oftentimes we associate this time of the year with, you know, joy and unity, uh, friendship, a lot of family time as well. How do you see brotherhood contributing to creating those memorable and meaningful holiday experiences for individuals and communities at large? You know, because you can, brotherhood um, fosters this sense of community where you can just have fun and just enjoy um, fellowship and community. And this is just something that is so simple but is so lost in our society where you can just, you know, hang around, play some good music, eat some good food like Kenyan and I usually do, and just laugh. One of the yeah. things I loved about Kenyan was that he was just the kind of person who just make you laugh, just that levity, that humor, just to keep things light, you know? He often, his signature phrase was always saying, yeah man, yeah man. You know, whether, whether we are saying, but go on the beach, man, and just go relax. Say, yeah, man, are we gone? You know, that life spirit. And I think if we could get back to that in society, we would see that life is way more simpler than we, we make it. That you know, make it. and it will really help us to um, stem a lot of the crime and violence that among, bro among brothers. Yeah, uh, man. It's really and truly, whether you're blood, um, blood brothers or not, we are all brothers and sisters. All brothers and sisters. We're going to end on that note, Jason. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Where can we get your book quickly art of brotherhood yes, the book right here art of brotherhood available on amazon.com so wherever you're at in the world you can just go on amazon and purchase it and thank you again for having me on smile jamaica i appreciate it you are more than welcome jason all the very best for the season all right thank you you as well thank you all right guys we'll be right back with more on weekend smile